taking that, Mickey. And introducing their opponents, accompanied to the ring by Christopher Boland, Boland Services 2.0, and Mickey. How dare you give him an introduction? Are you, are you kidding me right now? You're as pathetic as the rest. From Atlantic City, New Jersey, weighing in tonight at 247 pounds, Rocco Bellagio. And you are in Davis Arena, 4400 Shepherdsville Road, Gilbert Corsi, soon to be joined by the fan advocate Tornado Terry Bodie. And we have handicap action here in one of our feature bouts here tonight in Davis Arena. The unlikely pairing of David Osborne and Andrew Patton set to go up against the, I, I don't know, what would you call Rocco Bellagio of Bowling Services 2.0? The bodyguard, the enforcer. He's the, the enforcer. He is the Arn Anderson of the Bowling Services 2.0. Certainly the bronze. I don't know about being the brain. You know, he brings a lot of power. He brings a lot of power to this. And as much as Andrew Patton and, Dil and David Osborne, two well-respected veterans, they have an uphill battle against Rocco Bellagio. But, you know, the subplot, the substory here is they come out to the ring, Bowling Services 2.0 does, and already just walking out to the ring, Mickey is just being blasted by Baby Bowling. What could he have possibly done on the walk, walk to the ring, Terry? I, you know what? I really don't have any idea. That You know, you saw what happened to me. I just happened to introduce Mickey the same as I would any other person who accompanies anyone to the ring. That's just customary procedure, and I got yelled at and spit upon. As Rocco Bellagio shows his strength, shows his power, do you think at all that Baby Bolin has become a little bit more bitter now that he's bald? <laughs> I, I would say to say the least, I, I would agree with that statement. I think he's a little bit more angry. You know, he was publicly embarrassed and humiliated, and he's trying to take it out. He doesn't want to take it out on the people who are bigger than he is. He can only take it out on the person that he can't, and that's obviously Mickey. 6'3", 253 pounds goes Rocco Bellagio, and that's on the little estimate for the weight. He Absolutely. Is, he is all power. He is a huge man that comes to the ring in athletic. This ring, the apron to the floor, is a good three foot tall, and he just... Is he gonna get the big guy up? My oh goodness! My God. He just choke slam Osborne like he was a feather, like it was nothing. Oh, and man. if he can do that to David Osborne, my goodness, what can he do to young Andrew Patton? Andrew Patton, you just need to take advantage of the fact of using your wisdom. Oh no. Up and down with authority, he pressed him. He caught him in midair, Terry. That's Look at look with at ease, the walk. Look with at the ease. Walk. That's the bell ring. Your winner, Rocco Bellagio. Bellagio making quick work in this handicap match. But the real question is, how much more can Mickey take? I think he's at his breaking point soon. I, I hope for Mickey's sake he wisens up and realizes that he's got a lot more support than he realizes. You know, it's very easy for Christopher Bowen to stand up there and just point fingers when he's not the one who's actually getting in the ring. But when you've got that backing it up, I guess you can. 